Should you be concerned about Web 2? Yes, and here's why. Increased attack surface. Loading mobile code into a browser presents a new opportunity for system crackers to exploit your application. Think about it. Browsers were designed to offer a very constrained environment to protect the client from exploit. Nevertheless, even with all the effort invested by security experts to harden them, browsers are still widely exploited. Now you are proposing to unleash rich code and libraries expressed in JavaScript, a language with severe limitations. With all of this written by people who may not have the skill sets in place to develop secure code. Do you see the problem? And it doesn't stop there. Ask yourself, why did you become interested in Web 2 in the first place? Web 2 is about richer interactions with information. To achieve this, you are opening core interfaces into your systems using technologies like AJAX, REST, and the exchange of XML documents. This creates more opportunity for exploitation of those core line of business apps. Okay, why should you care? Why should browser exploits even matter to you? It's not like it's your system that's been compromised. You need to care. You are the source of this code. There are liability issues, but even worse, your reputation is on the line. Everyone remembers the failures. Unfortunately, this is a difficult problem to solve. The best defense is to place tight constraints on the data flow between applications. Control the conversation, and you control the applications. This is where the secure span data screen from layer 7 can help. It acts as an intermediate deployed between browsers and applications. It brokers the communication flow, allowing administrators to apply rich, policy-based constraints that validate all the data crossing boundaries. It takes this critical element of security, data assurance, out of the hands of developers and places it in the hands of security administrators where it belongs. It's new security for a new web.